Good evening everyone and welcome to the Hello Collective channel. Today we'll be talking about why Germany invaded France. Ho ho ho, titi croissant. In all seriousness, two days ago, 343 Industries revealed on Hello Waypoint the Team Arena Fall Preview, which talked about the assault game type, as well as changes on the following maps. The Rig Riptide Overgrowth Regret Plaza and Coliseum The changes on the rig goes as follow The bolt shot has been removed from yellow corner The DMR replaces the battle rifle in cargo Shotgun replaces scatter shot in basement BR replaces carbine at lookout, swapped out frag grenades at pit with splinter grenades and swapped out splinter grenades in bottom nest with frags. Also added is a song of peace suppressor to back rail. In stronghold and stronghold only, the sniper rifle replaces the railgun in tower 2. This is the first time we see an actual wreck weapon on an arena map other than the wreck on DMR and brute plasma rifle on stasis. Next up, we'll talk about Riptide. Adjust the starting spawns to be more equidistant from power weapons. Added active camo to bottom mid. Replace the Hydra with the Plasma Caster. Remove the Storm Rifle by Blue Tree House. Move the Storm Rifle in a water room to the bottom floor next to the broken water main. Remove the Battle Rifle. Move the Halo 2 BR to the old Storm Rifle location in the water room. Replace DMRs with Recon DMRs. Move the DMR out of the blue room and place below stage. And finally, remove the suppressor. I personally believe that these changes on Riptide will make the gameplay better than it is right now, as the blue room and Dune's locations were always dominated by a team and made games slightly too overpowered for one of the team. The change list on Overgrowth goes like this. Adjust the starting spawns to be more equidistant from power weapons. Moved active camouflage from tram to bog, yet again only in stronghold. Completely removed the suppressor. Added brute plasma rifle to plaza. Moved pit stronghold from bog to truck. Renamed tram stronghold to yard. Moved yard stronghold position to be on top of the car and adjusted the yard stronghold boundary to better encompass the surrounding area. The switch to brute plasma rifle from suppressor is a great addition to overgrowth, as the satellite weapon is too often ignored. Ah, uh, the profit of, uh, I mean, the map regret has also changed slightly in this small preview. Replace the needler with a storm rifle at bottom nest. Replace storm rifle with scatter shot at tunnel. Moved battle rifles from blue and red ledge into blue and red too. And place plasma grenades on blue and red ledge. A few changes that, in my opinion, will also make the gameplay funnier. Plaza. Nothing more needs to be said. The multiple changes goes, hmm, like that, I believe. Replace Hydro Launcher with Frag Grenades at Tunnel. Replace Frag Grenades with Scattershot at Underbridge. Change the SMG with Silenced SMG at Plaza. Also replace the SMG with the Storm Rifle at Tram. Remove Storm Rifle from Bottom Mid. Remove Splinter Grenade from Yellow Pipes. Add a Splinter Grenade to Bottom Mid under the bridge. And finally, add a Splinter Grenade to Elevator. Another loadout weapon in an arena map, this time a Stylus SMG. Time to be a sneaky snake. Coliseum, the HTS map per default. With added fun, change the scatter shot with energy sword at trench, replace the suppressor with a brute plasma rifle at top mid. Added player collision on the red wing to better balance out red and blue blazes. Also added projectile collision in blue cave to create more predictable grenade bounces. 
and on assault only, over she had replaced the energy sword in trench. The changes on Calisium may be seen as weird, but on mode like capture the flag, the sword will provide pursuers a way to hunt down flag carriers and flag runners with some potential speed boosts. This not only gives the energy sword more love, but it also makes the gameplay more interesting. If you remember last month, the Assault Preview playlist launched as a beta, and now with the Team Arena Fall Preview, Assault returns with key changes to improve the whole gameplay. First of all, the time it takes to arm and score has been reduced from 7 to 5 seconds. Secondly, the amount of time it takes for the arm progress to reset has been increased to be not so penalizing when an arming player steps out of the arm zone. Lastly, Additional refinements were added into the spawning on the featured assault maps to make matches feel more fair. Three maps will feature the assault mode during the feedback period Coliseum, Stasis, and Tyrant. To close, here is a list of maps and game types combinations that are available through the preview. Also, as a note, only a subset of this list will be offered in Team Arena slash HCS Fall Season. Thanks again for joining us, and remember to subscribe to the Halo Collective to stay up to date on anything and everything Halo.